Okay, she heard us. Hey. Social distance. Come on. Hello everyone, we're back with the next episode of our 7 Days to Die series, where we couldn't wait for the next patch release, so decided to play a fresh game. Let's see what this next day has in store. Whoa, some somebody made it out? How are they making it out? Oh lord. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No satisfying. How did you guys make it out of there? Sort of a good sign for me. We're going to go check that out. Did you guys make it out? <laughs> I think Big Mama boosted them all up. Probably reach her with the spear. Oh yeah. Hit you some. Oh, is it safe to go down there? Gotta get the loot. Just baiting me. Certainly everybody's awake, right? Yeah. Baseball bat. Forgot those were in the game. Nice. Stairs are my biggest nemesis. Okay, well, mission completed. It wasn't too bad. Let's go back home. We got work to do. There's our example wall. It'll be how tall it'll be all the way around it. Now the bad thing about that is that you're gonna shield the view in both directions. You won't be able to see the house anymore. And plus when you're inside the house, inside the courtyard here, you're not gonna be able to see out. But what we have going for it is that this will be elevated. And I'm pretty sure we're going to put quite a bit of iron bars so we can see through it. So we should be okay. I'm going to run inside and dump the loot out so we can move around a little easier. Got some more iron and we do have some radiators. Can go ahead and smelt those down. We've got some more rebar frames. Here's somebody in our house. We got to go take care of that. I can pick up these blocks. I hear somebody. Where are they? Are you inside? You're inside my house? That's not cool. Where are you? Are they upstairs? No way. This is seriously freaking me out. I might be here. I have no idea. I don't hear him anymore. There he is. Where on earth were you? Ow. Now, was he the only one? I believe so. That airdrop keeps tempting me. Alright, so this is another example section of the wall. Should we only go three high? We've got to do four high, I think. I think it's too easy for zombies to jump on top of each other. Zombies too high, and then another one could jump on top of their head, and if it's only three high total, then they'd be able to jump over the wall. That would not be good. I 
don't know. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And what I'm thinking is that we can definitely line this wall with some like iron spikes, if not just wood spikes. That'd be a lot of materials, but I think it'd probably be worth it. And then, of course, we're going to have turrets. And I'm envisioning that we would have turrets on the wall itself, which would be totally awesome. That could fire down. And we could just have some spread out at key parts. And like, we would definitely have a garage door here, I think. Be able to get our vehicles in and out. I'm liking it. I don't know. I'm liking it. Okay, well, let's go grab some concrete. Why wait? We could turn all this stone on that for 13 minutes. Sounds good. And we're definitely going to need more rebar. Do another 100. Oh, we can you can craft crushed sand from stones. That's that's cool. I don't remember that being a thing. Is it one to one? It is. Okay. Oh, well, that kind of changes things. That is very nice. So cement, sand, and small stones. So stones is about to be our major limiting factor. Okay. Or let that run a little bit. We did grab the concrete mix that we could, didn't we? No, we didn't. We can do 26. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to deal with food. Mow the grass a little bit on this outer wall. When are they going to put a lawnmower in? Been waiting for that for a long time. Basically like the auger and the chainsaw. Just something that targets grass only. That'd be really cool. Need a claw hammer. That was already 26 blocks? No way. How much was it using? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, you lost count. 9, 10, 11, 12. It was using more than 10? Am I crazy? Oh, I'm going to have to pay better attention to that. That didn't last hardly anything. We're going to need a whole lot of concrete. Yeah, go get it. Okay, that was all the rebar frames that we had for now. This is definitely going to have to go. And we're going to need stones anyway. So... I guess let me beat on this for a while. It's going to be so nice. Even if I can just get the entire outer wall perimeter completed with just two blocks high. That's going to really help out a lot because we'll be able to kind of work through nighttime while inside the that perimeter inside our base. I tell you what, even after doing just this for the past, you know, couple of minutes, I'm so glad we invested all those points into the mining. Yeah, it's about to be nighttime, so we're gonna have to duck inside. We could push it and try to stick around, but it's really not worth it because if there's a horde that comes through and they sense us, we would just, we would get obliterated. Oh my goodness. I, we really have to work on this. I, I, I'm so bad at jumping this final jump. Okay, and we just got a bunch of extra stone. So we should be able to do a lot of this up into here. Get this clay going. Concrete mix. That's all of our sand. We could convert some. I don't know if that makes sense to do that. Apparently it is. It's a lot easier for us to get stone than it is sand. Be like a hundred. See what that looks like. We ended up not using both these wrenches, so I'm going to put one of them up for now. Okay, and our food situation is actually looking a little bit dire. Because uh, we're hungry right now. We can eat a couple of these cans that are only five food apiece. And then we've got all this sham. We are in trouble. We're going to have to deal with that in the morning. 
Yeah, I mean, we're essentially completely out of food. And we've got, you know, nine potatoes. That's not going to take us very far. Oh, boy. How do we farm? We need to figure that out now. All of a sudden, that becomes really important. Wish we would have kind of started that. There's living off the land. This will harvest two items from planted crops. We can craft seeds for flowers and decorative plants. Yeah, that's nice, but maybe later. In Fortitude level three, we could get the second uh, tier unlocked, the farmer tier. Farm plots cost 50% less to craft, and you can craft seeds for berries and vegetables. And level five fortitude, industrial farmer harvests three items from planted crops. It's almost uh, it's like mandatory to get this first tier at gardener level, right? Because if you're just getting, if you're just harvesting one item off a plant, like you, I don't know how the math works though. Like does one plant turn into one seed, and then that one seed turns into one plant when you harvest it? It seems pretty dumb. Hopefully it doesn't work like that. But regardless, harvesting two items is better than, than one. Obviously it's double. So what does it take to make farm plots? Wood, rotting flesh, nitrate powder, clay. That's not too bad. We've got a bunch of that, I think. Got a lot of nitrate powder. We've got a lot of flesh. And clay is very easy for us to get. We don't have any right now, but we can get some. Now we do have, like, we've got this potato seed. And we've got mushroom spores. I don't know if you can eat that or not. We've got one corn seed. <laughs> oh, man. Can I... I need this recipe to be able to make, I guess, turn vegetables into seeds. What about the potatoes? Same deal, probably. Potatoes are vegetables, right? That's what I tell myself when I'm eating french fries. Blueberries. Hey, blueberries are fruits, man. Okay, let's go back to living off the land. Okay, so gardener, farmer, berries and vegetables. Okay, I did say berries, so blueberries are in this category. I think we've got to take these two points. Boom, there they are. And that allows the farm plots to cost 50% less to craft, which is just a added bonus. Do we need a hoe to do the, the farming? Or did they take that out? I guess you don't need that anymore, right? You just have to make the farm plot and then plant the seed in it. So the corn and the potatoes and the blueberries, we can turn all those into seeds, right? All right, we've got our shovel on us. Okay, let's go get some clay. And let's craft up the farm plots. And then <laughs> we're going to have to go find some food. Actually, let's go grab the things for the trader. And let's go see if we can buy some food from him to tie us over. All right, let's roll. And we could go get that airdrop also. We might try to do that. There could be some food there. Yeah, let's go for the airdrop. That's a relatively safe location. We had one drop out there many days ago and the trader's not gonna be open until 6 a.m. anyway so this kind of works out there's some nitrate powder that we just passed but i don't think we're supremely hurting on that if we are we should be able to find some 150 left to go there's the orange smoke please be food oh wow ran right into the tree stump just imagine if we were being chased by a zombie oh this is some rough terrain here I think this is the same mountain we crossed over. Is it okay to call this a mountain? Let me live in my fantasy world. Jeez, some bright light. Uh, no food. No bike, come back. No food, but there was some helpful supplies. I'll never turn down the free stuff. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for a deer and obviously chickens and zombies. Hello. I don't think we can pass up this iron. We're still going to need a lot of rebar frames. And while we're here... Get some clay. I think we need 50 per plot. Okay, she heard us. Come on. Hey. Social distance. Come on. Okay, 18 seconds to craft a farm plot. That's not bad. I was thinking it was going to be like five minutes or something. Get a little more. I'm going to try to skim off the top. That way we don't create a big old crater. I don't know how much I need, but we'll definitely need clay for the forge. So if we end up with a bunch of excess, I won't be mad about it. 
I'm noticing that I'm spamming the shovel here and we are staying at max stamina, but we can't do that with the iron pickaxe. What's up with that? What's the difference? How many plots can we make? Wow. Well, we do have a lot of things to plant. I don't know if this is one for one. It's not. Need 10 ears of corn. Now, I think when you plant corn especially, I'm trying to remember when you, if you plant a seed, then when it grows, you can harvest off that same crop multiple times. And is it actually indefinitely? Like you can just keep harvesting the same seed over and over and over again? I think that's the way it works now. Let's do nine more. That'll give us 10 farming plots. Now if we do, okay, so like blueberry seed, we can make one blueberry seed. Potato, make one potato seed. Here's a corn, we can make two seeds. Oh gosh, oh, horde. No, I'm in the trench. Okay, daytime lightning, that's just with this thunderstorm. Really caught me off guard. And they really swarmed me too. They were fast. Really felt like I needed to pull out the gun. Good thing we found that pistol. Nothing like digging in the rain. Okay, this will consume all the rotting flesh that we have. And it'll, we'll have a little bit of excess clay left over. We'll have a lot of extra nitrate powder. That's good. I think we need that for ammo crafting, don't we? Okay, carrying back on to the trader. Trader Bob. What a wonderful day. Hey brother, what's going on? Okay, sell, 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 sell. All right, great. And food, not great options. That stinks. Let's check his vending machine. Ooh, oh no. Also not great options. Why do you gotta do me like that, Bob? It does have these eggs and the chicken ration. And I'm getting I'm pretty desperate for food. I think I'm gonna get I'm thinking I'm gonna buy both of these. We kinda need them. Okay, I'm gonna queue up these farm plots. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna head back home. Oh, we're cold. Uh oh. Doesn't being cold consume more food? That's not good. Where are we going to put these farm plots? That is the major question. We have some room within the courtyard. Hey, the concrete dried already. Now, do you have to plant things outside? That certainly is the realistic thing to do. So, that would make sense. But then, what about, like, if we put the farm plots on the balcony here? That wouldn't, it just wouldn't look right. Even if it works. Now, in this backyard section, maybe back here? It would be good. How about right, just right here? Right in here? Like do five by five, maybe? Okay, let's just plant some stuff. Blueberries there. How about potatoes right here? Uh, mushrooms? Now, do the mushrooms need to be planted in here? I think you can plant mushrooms like, just like on concrete. Just anywhere you want. And then we got corn. Do corn on this last row. Sounds pretty good, huh? At some point, I guess the the text, it turns from saying seed into growing is what I vaguely remember. Okay, well, that at least is going. We've got some food in the works. That's all I can ask for. Now, one thing I kind of didn't fully plan out here was are the blocks at this elevation the same all the way around? Is everything going to match up? I don't know, so we'll just have to find out. Okay, let's pop back inside real quickly. Let's dump our loot and maybe cry about our food a little bit. No. Oh, good lord. Why do I do the things I do? Don't know. 
Okay, we have two cans of sham. Make some cornbread out of this cornmeal. Let's see, cornbread. Uh, let's cook one. I want to see what it is. I want to see what it's all about. Cornbread, four food and two health. Ugh, hardly worth it. I'm going to hang on to this cornmeal. I don't think it's worth using just straight up by itself. It's consuming a bottle of water. Not that the water is that valuable, but... Oh gosh, it's already nighttime again. These 30 minute days are rough. I feel like a, an entire day passed and we're really no better off than we were from the prior day. Like, we still need food. <laughs> I guess we got just enough food to operate for one day. Now, the reality is that we did a lot better than that because we did get the farm plots going. Hey, this big old rock is right in the way of our wall. And I don't mind because we need the stones. Okay, abort mission. Let's get inside. Let's get inside. I'm getting pretty excited about what we're building. Can't wait to get all the materials and have it start coming together. Got a lot more frames. All right. Well, I know something that I have been wanting to do. I'm going to take this shovel and let's go clean up more of the house. Ooh, and maybe we can use a wrench still. Let's go grab one of the wrenches. Okay, going back down to the garage. Not the smartest move, perhaps. We've got these bags of cobblestones. Wanted to break these down. Kind of careful on the edge. That door leads right to outside. So does that one. Cleaning up this trashy house. It's a light fixture. We should be able to get some electrical parts out of it. Be like home flippers, man. Nasty old ratty house. Getting plastic. Seems right. Not a great use of the wrench durability, but it's something. And there's a bunch of not working lights in here. Ran out of durability. Whoops. Okay, the pool table stays for now. That was the exercise equipment. Well, we did a little bit of cleanup. I mean, more rebar frames. And we've got quite a bit of concrete mix. And we can make some more. Let's do it. Let's eat our one piece of cornbread. I bet that was good. And we are really, really hurting on food. Food has to be the top priority. We've got some eggs that we can cook. But other than that, we really only have these two cans of sham. So as much as I want to go play more with our wall, we're going to have to go get food. Food, food, food. Let's go do it. So I think that's a good stopping point for this episode. If you hung in there until the end, I appreciate you very much. Be sure to stay tuned for the next episode where we'll continue our journey. And of course, if you'd like to see more content, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.